<laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, so we don't really have a fancy or, uh, for that matter, funny opening for this one. We really wanted to get this out, but you know, life has just been kind of um. Yeah. So, uh, I thought I'd take a book from the page of Thank God for James Stephanie Sterling and vamp an opening. You know, improv, uh, just kind of waffle around, stumble over my words, and, uh, eventually stagger to a halt, and, uh, then we just cut to the thing you're all here for about five to ten seconds later than we probably should have. Ugh. So at any rate, votes! Yes, when I think Alabama, I think boats. On cinder blocks in the front yard. An instructional sound film, because sound has been unmentored for too long. You know, Ernest Horn isn't the worst porn pseudonym I've heard, but it's up there. Nancy and Roger are taking a boat trip today with their parents. From Albany down to New York. So? Here is the name of the boat, the Alexander Hamilton. The kids spy Lin-Manuel Miranda coming People and jump are overboard. People coming up the gangplank, but it is almost time to start. yabba dabba do. It is time to start. Why don't you get it started? As Nancy look on, men are taking away the gangplank. And with it, any hope for escape? Yeah, yeah, just slam it around. That's fine. It's a professional stick door, man. They see this man loosening a large rope which held the boat fast to the pier. Before video games and unleaded gasoline, this is what children were supposed to find fascinating. Our boat's big wheels churn the water as we back away from the pier. And the mortal remains of Eddie Big Thumbs Maroney are pulverized into chump to the delightful the applause river. of onlooking crabs. Our boat ride has started. Down the mighty Hudson. Nancy and Roger will see many ways by which people use the river. There's this someone using the river as a toilet! Carry passengers. It is being loaded with lumber and other heavy freight. Well, the wonders never start. Across the river, we see a great hole in the ground. The locals it call it quarry, Newark. Where people dig out stone. Because the quarry is near the Hudson River, the stones are usually put on barges like these. They know it's only rocks and holes, the but they like it. The barges are fastened by a long rope to a strong little tugboat. The school of weak, even littler tugboats flee from the larger one's territory. Nancy and Roger and all the other passengers are enjoying the smooth glide of the boat through the water. Then this the acid is one way in which wow. a boat trip is made safe. It marks a shallow spot so boats can steer away from it. Come visit the world's shortest lighthouse, our only protection against the Charybdis of New Jersey. And here is another way that boat trips are made safe. Our boat is carrying many small boats on it. A Just like the mama and baby possums Roger found on the ship's time. head. The lifeboats are broad and solid. They have oars for rowing and airtight tanks to keep them from sinking. Each of them will hold 20 people. Rest assured, if Jack goes down on this dinghy, Rose boat. will do a dime for murder. Another boat just like the one on which Roger and Nancy are riding. It too has many people on it, but they are going up the river for Thanks their Thanks to that blasted Cape Ed Crusader and the boy Blunder. This boat is the Hendrick Hudson, named after the man who discovered the river. If you ignore the existence of the Iroquois, Lenape, Wapir, and Mohicans, which of course we do. Inside this pilot house is the captain of our boat. A half-melted Vincent Price. <laughs> oh look, 
There's the captain. Let's, Let's wipe his strawberries. And jump scare. Huh. I'm starting to think this video isn't haunted at all. It's just old and boring. The real ghost for the existential dread we made along the way. Well, well. How do you know? Yeah. Come right in. At this point, the cautious That's twins good, would have been in the lifeboats already. Yes. When I turn it this uh, way, it makes the boat go to the right. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh dear okay. God, we pulled where is that fishing boat? Ah! What's this? That's to signal to the engineer. The engineer? Where is he? Down below in the engine room. Definitely not chained to the boiler. Thanks, Captain. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Blimey, Governor. We're off to get some of Mrs. Lovett's mince pies. Cool, cool, cool. Our boat has just passed under a bridge. A high bridge built to carry railroad trains across, above the river, from one shore to the other. As opposed to all the other bridges that go under the water and stop halfway. And now, we are coming close to a town. Flaming arrows are made ready. Nancy and Roger bite the edges of their shields in anticipation. Here is a ferry boat loaded with people and cars. The first volley cuts them down with so ease. The sacking the of Tavali Games. There are many kinds of boats on the river. You're going to see Here, every last example, damn one of them. A kayak, a little boat that has to be paddled. It is a naughty, naughty little kayak. <laughs> This man is having an easier time. He has rigged up a sail for his canoe. In order to add some zest to the upcoming speedboat chase. And these people have a larger sailboat. When the wind is blowing, they can take it easy and let the breeze blow them along. Right into our path, now, oh dear Roger Jupiter, no! Ah! Wondering what makes oh. our boat go? They remember the captain told them that our engineer was down below. And here they are above the engine room. What a big piece of machinery helps mm -hmm. make the boat go. Mm. Oh my! And how smooth and powerful it seems. <laughs> yeah. Roger will be unpacking these emotions for decades to come. Oh boy, glad we are set our entire channel to not for kids. The engineer can stop the boat or go ahead by pulling back on these levers. A <laughs> firm squeeze and a tug is all it takes. <laughs> Good time monetization. <laughs> we don't earn check from YouTube anyhow. <laughs> Roger and Nancy again come up on deck so that they won't miss anything. Like how their parents don't miss and them. Just in time, our boat is passing the Palisades. The wafting reek of unsold collector's toys fills their lungs. New York City. This is another freight boat carrying about the same kind of heavy goods that freight trains carry on land. Only in the jurisdiction of the far less well-funded Coast Guard. And this is a motor yacht, bright and richly finished. People on it are going for a pleasure ride up the river. Curse that Batman! How many will fall to his extrajudicial now, fist? a cabin cruiser. My heart is in my throat. These people seem to be in a hurry. Why is everyone fleeing upriver? Far above these small boats and our large boat, Roger and Nancy now see the broad span of the George Washington Bridge. Neat. We are passing far beneath it, so we cannot see the many cars and buses hurrying to and fro across the bridge. This disappointment will haunt them for life. And here below the Washington Bridge is a fireboat practicing. It needs to practice. It's hardly on fire at all. We see how far it can fall. Oh, the stream of water. oh man, I should not have had that big gulp before we set out. Oh, the like a racehorse. That's my starch, but maybe you should have thought of that before we started recording. The Hudson River has many boats here. This barge is quite low in the water. That's because it is filled with gasoline. Every aspect no of this film hints at an unspoken threat. Roger and Nancy must have seen something unusual. Tom Jones not crying. 
It is unusual nowadays when most boats are run by engines. This is a sailing boat, but its sails are all put away. Its cursed crew of skeletons leaves only screams to catch the wind. <laughs> Here is a ferry boat, much like the one we saw far back up the river. This one, too, is loaded with cars and people. Coming from New Jersey to New York. We aren't sure which party is being punished here. This is a police patrol boat. Police are mostly here to issue parking tickets. Yeah, keep waving. The dumb pigs will never suspect we got 50 kilos stashed under decks. And a tug is helping it to its pier. Over here is a big freight boat, already tied up at its pier. It has had a long ocean trip from Cuba, and the men are unloading bags of sugar from it. Adjusted for inflation, the street value is upwards of 20 million. First you get the sugar, then you get the power. Up ahead, a huge ocean liner is backing out into the stream. Already, dysentery is rampaging through its passengers' digestive tracts. ships afloat. Most big ocean liners have strong little tugs like these to help turn them about in the river when starting out on a voyage or when coming in. But do the tugs ever get a tip? No, of course not. Regis, what are you doing here? Regis, put the gun away! Regis, no, please! Ah! Our journey from Albany to New York is over. But for the people on this big liner, their journey across the broad Atlantic Ocean has just begun. But that's none of our damn business, apparently. The short film ran aground at the battery. There were no survivors. So yeah, that was the short. We hope you liked it. We really thank you for being here and, uh, putting up with our excessive lateness. We're trying. So, um, uh... Uh, I think if we can take anything from that short, it's that trans rights are human rights, and, um, never vote Republican. Come visit the world's shortest lighthouse. Only our prote our only protection against the <laughs> the Caribbean <laughs> of New Jersey. Oh. So uh, I thought I'd just I thought I'd take a page from the book of Thank God for James Stephanie Sterling and vamp an intro to this little thing. You know, improv, waffle around, stumble over my words, completely fail to come up with anything interesting. Ugh. Blimey, Governor. We've off to get some of the Mrs. Love it's Mrs. Pies. <laughs> Mrs. Lines. We, we got it. <laughs> oh, man. I should not have had that big gulp before we set sail. Oof. Like a racehorse. Hey, Pipples! Did you like that bit of nonsense? Well, then why don't you click like, and subscribe, and press that bell, or whatever YouTube wants you to do. You can also do us a big solid by joining our Patreon, where you'll get to join us for live streams, get early access to the newest videos, and other such things.